of Psalm 22. In Psalm 22, verse 1 reads, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you, and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who sees me mocks me. They sneer and they shake their heads, say, Is this not the one who relies on the Lord? Then let the Lord save him. If the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. Yet you brought me safely from my mother's womb and led me to trust you at my mother's breast. I will thrust into your arms. I was thrust into your arms at my birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. That's the first 10 verses of Psalm 22. Amen. Amen. Touch out 
our servant on this morning as you give them a word for us. We want you to, to allow our hearts to be open and our ears to be open. And, and not only that, that uh, we be able to uh, take your word and, and share your word uh, with someone else. We thank you again for the opportunity to be chosen by you. And we just give you all honor and praise in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray again that uh, you bless the palms on this morning. As uh, we celebrate you again on today, uh, your coming. We just want to be able to do your will. And again, we just give you all honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
we have plenty of palms left. We'll even wait around if anybody wants to come by and drive by and pick one up. Amen.
They cried, Hosanna. Come on. Hosanna. In the highest. In the All right. We magnify your name. Hosanna. In the highest. We magnify your name. To you, to you, to you. I give the glory. To you, I give the honor for you. I'm worthy. Breathe up. Of the praises. Tanya. We magnify your name. Hosanna. Hosanna. In the highest, we magnify your name. Give the glory to you, I give the honor for you already. All the praises, we magnify your name. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest, we magnify.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father, our Father, our Father, yes. and our God. We thank you, Lord, that we have assembled ourselves once again to give you glory, to, to give you praise, oh God. What a privilege it is to give your name the praise. What an honor it is, Lord God, to open our mouth and say thank you, Lord. What a pleasure it is to say we glorify your name. Hosanna, giving you the highest praise. Hallelujah. And we come right now, Lord God, on um, asking in the name of Jesus that you look at our hearts, God. We thank you for allowing us to praise you, but we're asking, Father God, if you would search us and know us and try us, and if there'll be anything evil, Lord God, we ask that you remove it right now in the name of Jesus because we don't want anything hindering us from giving you praise. We don't want anything hindering us, Lord Jesus, from hearing from you on today. We don't want anything. So we're asking, oh God, forgive us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Have your way in us, oh God. Move in our hearts, Lord Jesus, that as the word goes forth, it will not fall on stony ground, Lord, that it will fall on good ground, Lord Jesus, that it may produce some hundredfold fruit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, we ask. Amen. 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 I give glory and honor to God. To the memory of Pastor Patterson, First Lady. Our ministerial team, officers, members, friends, I honor you on today. And as you see, we have our palms, palms of victory. And That's not going to be my sermon today. All right. <laughs> is, is, is that all right? Because look, 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 look. This is what they consider Holy Week. Hallelujah. The Passion Week, they call it. And this week, starting with today. It begins with Jesus' triumphant entry on Palm Sunday as we have deemed it. And the, 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 the Saul, the, the, the prophet, Zechariah, in chapter 9, verse 9 says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout daughter of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey. Mm -hmm. He comes, he comes, they say. Yeah. And the crowds welcomed him by waving palm branches mm -hmm. and crying, Hosanna mm -hmm. to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. That's why we give our palms on Palm Sunday. But the week didn't start there as well. Listen, listen, listen. Can you think with me for a moment? Jesus. This was his last week mm. on earth. Mm. And he comes mm. and we rejoiced. Mm. Our king mm. has come. Mm. He's here. Mm. That was Sunday. Mm. And then on Monday, mm. 
Jesus went to the temple. Mm -hmm. He went to clean some stuff up. Right. He found the courts full of corrupt money changers. Mm -hmm. And he began overturning the tables and clearing the temple, saying, the scriptures declare, my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. They say that happened on Monday. And then on a Tuesday, they say he went to the Mount of Olives. And on that morning, he was with his disciples to go to Jerusalem. But back at the temple, the leaders were plotting how they could kill him. All right? But Jesus still doing the Father's will. Went to the Mount of Olives and sat and overlooked Jerusalem teaching the Olivet Discourse. I encourage you this week, y'all go through this stuff and read it. Wednesday, the scholars speculate what happened on that day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they give you a thought. Maybe that's just the day Jesus went to rest. Mm -hmm. Because on what they call Maudie Thursday, mm -hmm. that was the day he met with his disciples in the upper room for the Passover feast. Lord Jesus, he, he ate with them the bread and the wine, and he washed his disciples' feet. Mm -hmm. And later, he went to the garden of Gethsemane, mm -hmm. where he prayed. Okay, okay. And then it started his trial. And we go further on to his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Amen. 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 But that's not the message today. I woke up. I said I wasn't going to tell this part of it. <laughs> A few weeks ago, and you know, of course, the, the, the sermon don't just start before you type it up. It, the, the, the Lord ministers to you, might be a day, might be a week before you actually have to preach. And we all know that if you work during the week, Saturday. Lord, thank you for some extra hours to get some sleep. Amen. But as I lay between sleep and half woke, the Holy Ghost said, He loves me. He loves me. And as I laid there, I was like, Yeah, thank you. I know. Get up, Rosalind. He loves me. So I had to get up out of the bed, and there began the sermon. He loves me. Tell them, Rosalind. Have them repeat it. Say it. He loves me. He loves me. Yeah, come on. We got to put some feeling in there. He loves me. Amen. 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 And I began to think of, and, and, and if you want to have a, ter a sermon title, that's it right there. <laughs> because I don't have no one scripture. I have some scriptures. Amen. Amen. Right. But as, as I thought about that, first thing I thought about was the song. That every kindergarten kid learns. All right. Come on. Jesus loves me. This yeah. I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yes. 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus yes. loves me. For the Bible tells me so. And with that, we can rejoice greatly. But as I looked at this skit that some kindergarten kids were going to do, you know how kids are. They raise a question that says, does the Bible tell me so? And, and we are his children. Have we ever asked, does the Bible tells me so? Now, parents tell their kids, I love you. But they don't have to say it all the time for you to know. How is it that they know? Well, they get fed. They got roots. They got some clothes on the back. Mom and daddy bless them with things that they ask for and sometimes the things that they don't. But they still show that they love their kids. Amen? And the Bible tells us for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But the Bible say Jesus loves me. Does it say it? Now, I don't know when I learned this little game, but it didn't come to me until um, as I was preparing. And I don't know if it's something that little girls used to do. Look, girls, y'all know what Mama do. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me. He loves me. But should I depend <laughs> on a flower <laughs> to tell me <laughs> that he loves me? I found out, saints of God, that that was something, that was a French game. Amen? And as they pulled off each petal, it took the player to a higher degree. Does he love me a little? Does he love me a lot? Does he love me passionately? Or does he love me not at all? Mm. I wonder today, as I ponder does Jesus love me? And I want to submit to you today that during the last week of Jesus' life mm. on earth, he showed us mm. under no uncertain terms, Amen. he loves me. <laughs> the poet Elizabeth Browning in her sonnet number 43. I know you've heard it. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Dee Dee, stay off my stuff. But since scripture does not say per se that he loves me, I ponder like those kindergarten kids. Because the kindergarten kids, this is this, this what they did. They stood before the congregation to present the play. And in the play, kids standing in the front, 
and they start to sing the song. And then one of the kids raised up their hand and it says, where does it say Jesus loves me in the Bible? And one of the adults off to the side said, well, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Let's look it up real quick. And they looked up John 3.16. And, but it says that God so loved the world. And then they looked up 1 John. Y'all can write them down. 1 John 4.19. And it says we love because he first loved us. And, but that doesn't say Jesus loves me. Then he said, well, they typed in another one. What about Matthew 22, verses 37 through 39? To love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and your mind. Yes, yes. Another kid said, well, that doesn't say that Jesus loves me. Okay, then what about John 13 and 34? Where it tells me to love one another as I have loved you. Yeah. Oh, that's a little bit closer. But it still doesn't say, like the song says, yes, Jesus loves me. But as Elizabeth Browning asks, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Can I walk you through three things mm -hmm. that happened during the week before he was crucified? Mm -hmm. That though our parents, they don't have to tell us all the time, they show us. Amen. And I submit to you today three things. Can we stop Past the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, Matthew 26, verses 36 through 46. And it says, And then Jesus came with them to the place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and two of the sons of Zebedee. And he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. And he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Stay here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and he prayed, saying, oh, my father. If it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And then he came to his disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, what? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again, he went a second time. And he went away and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came and found them sleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And so he left them and he went away again. And he prayed a third time saying to them the same words. And then he came back to his disciples and said, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Let me count the way. The agony in the garden shows me he loves me because Jesus was in great sorrow and distress over his approaching physical pain and separation from the Father and death for the sins of the world. The divine course was set, but he in 
human nature still struggled. My, 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 Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 7 through 9 reminds us he offered up prayers and supplication and cries and tears unto him who was able to save him from death. My God, it says he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. My God, he did that for you and for me. And because of the anguish Jesus experienced, he can relate to our suffering. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus' strength to obey came from his relationship with God the Father, who is also the source of our strength. All right. Jesus wasn't rebelling against his Father when he asked, can this cup of suffering depart from me. Huh. But in fact, he uh, re reaffirmed his desire to do God's will by saying, nevertheless, not as I will, your will be done. Can we say that in the midst of our suffering? Amen. Nevertheless, not as I will, your will be done. His prayer reveals to us he was in terrible suffering. His agony was worse than death itself because of the sin that needed to be paid for. But that sin separated him from his father. I want you to remember in times of suffering, we sometimes wish, don't we, that we knew the future? Don't we wish that we could understand the reason why we have to go through the things that we have to go through? My, my, my. But Jesus, it says he looked in the cup. He knew what he was about to endure. And yet and still, he did it. He did it. More wretching than any struggle we could ever face. What would it take for us to be able to say, as you will? You know what it's going to take? A firm trust in God's plans. Not our plans. God's plan. Yes, yes, yes. And it takes prayer yes. and obedience Lord, each God. step of the way. He showed us. Somebody say with me, he loves me. Yes. He, he loves, loves me. me. <laughs> Jesus climbed the hill to the garden still. His steps were heavy and slow. Love and prayer took him there to the place only he could go. Gethsemane, Jesus loves me. So he went willingly to Gethsemane, oh, Gethsemane, Jesus loves me, so he went willingly to Gethsemane, or, or maybe you remember, lest I forget, yes, yes Lord. Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Hallelujah. Yeah, 
Hallelujah. He showed me there. But then, can we stop past the communion table? Where he shows us again. Let's look at Matthew 26, verses 32 and 35. And it reads, but after, this is Jesus' words now, but after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. But Peter, <laughs> say, oh, Peter. <laughs> and Peter said, even if all are made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you that this night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter said to, them, to him, even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And this is something that I, when I got to this part, I was like, damn, I don't think I ever remember reading that. And so said all the disciples. All of them said it. So they sitting at the table. I won't leave you. I won't deny you. Come on now. My, 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 my. But <laughs> as my, my, my you read ahead. a little further, <laughs> on, all of them, a few hours later now, mm -hmm. scattered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they scattered. But do you know what I love? Mm -hmm. Is in spite of all of that, Say. he knew that and he loved yeah. them Ooh, my Lord, still. My Lord. Just like us. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. The Bible is clear that no matter what we have done, Jesus loves us. In fact, he promises to both forgive us for every wrong we have done and provide us eternal life if only we would believe in him. As John 3.16 reminds us, for he so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Romans 5 and 8 says, God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Before we were even born, aren't you glad that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life? Hallelujah. If it's not, today you get an opportunity. Glory to his name to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Before you were born, he sent his son, Jesus, to die on our behalf and give us the opportunity for eternal life. This amazing gift comes to us because of his wonderful grace toward us. It is by grace you have been saved through faith. You believe, you believe, you believe mm -hmm. that it is not from yourself. It is a gift of God. Not by works. Okay. Not by works. So that no one can boast. No. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did this. No. Say through faith. That's right. Hallelujah. We don't have to earn his love. Woo -hoo, ain't that good? It's unconditional. I ain't got to jump through this hoop and step across this line and um, jump on this hill. And we just simply have to accept it. It's a gift. Now, it may be difficult 
to believe that Jesus loves us because of other people who have let us down in the past. However, Jesus is not like anybody else. Glory. He is God in the human form. Another reason it might be difficult to accept the truth that Jesus loves us is that something that we've done in our past is still troubling us. Come on now. But Jesus already knows your past. He knows what we're doing right now. And he knows what we're going to do tomorrow. But! He still loves us. He loves me. Hallelujah. A wonderful example of his love can be found in his last hours on the cross. One of the men crucified next to him was being put to death for his crimes. And Jesus turned to him. He turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He could have said, excuse me, you got a lot of nerve. <laughs> Robert, you up here on this cross just like me. But our God, who is rich in mercy and compassion and love, he turned to him and said, truly, I say to you today, you will be in paradise with me. Hallelujah! Despite the criminal sins, Jesus accepted his simple and sincere act of faith and promised him eternity in heaven, even though Jesus knew that the man had no time to, to live his life differently. So it don't matter if you on your dying bed, if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ by faith, you shall be saved. Do you hear me? It don't matter what you've done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their actions the disciples, Peter, walking afar off. Everybody else, they ran, they gone. At least Peter did try to hang around so he could mm. kind of see what was That's going right. on. Mm. And then somebody said, hey, weren't you with him? <laughs> I know it. Yeah. I don't know the man. <laughs> and then he goes a little further. Hey, weren't you with Jesus of Galilee? And he's like, no, I don't know the man. And then the last time somebody asked, he started cussing the word of God says so. Say that. And then he remembered because he heard the rooster crow. Jesus said, yeah, that you. Will deny it three times. That's real but then hmm. it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. in, for, in, 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 in John mm -hmm. chapter 21. Yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. It's such a beautiful thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In John chapter 21, uh, 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 the, yeah, resurrected yeah. the resurrected yeah. Jesus. The resurrected Jesus, y'all. The resurrected yeah. Jesus oh. says, Woo! He says, he says, he says, Peter, <laughs> do you love me? <laughs> yes, Lord, do you know I love you? And he said to him, feed my lamb. Now, if he was jacked up because Peter had denied him, it looked to me like it's gone right there, don't it? It don't look like he held no grudges, did he? That's our Jesus who loves us. Yeah. Don't think that because of the things that you've done yeah. that he still can't yeah. use you. Somebody hear me today. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. hear me. Yeah. He yeah. says it. He says it. He says it. He said it again. A second time. 
second time now. This is the second time. Son of Jonah, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And then he said, tend my sheep. And then he said to him a third time, ah! Simon, son of Jonah, I, do you love me? And Peter was grieved because he said it to him a third time. Do you love me? And he said, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. That's the action of somebody who looks beyond Reverend Taylor. Okay. Our faults mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and sees mm -hmm. our need. Mm -hmm. Say that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kurt Franklin mm -hmm. and the new nation had this song. He loves me mm -hmm. even when I fall against his will. Yeah, he loves me. Mm -hmm. Oh. broken heart just won't keep still. He loves me. Oh, oh, he loves me. He loves me. Even though he knew sometimes I'd fall. to Matthew 26 again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Verses. Oh, Lord, help me, Lord. 67. 26, 67. <laughs> And it says, then they spit in his face. And they beat him. And others struck him with the palms of their hands, saying, prophesy to us, Christ, who is the one who struck you? What kind of mocking is that? And when you look at, I believe it's Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter 50, verse 6, it was prophesied. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheek to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face mm. from shame mm. and spitting. Mm. He endured. Mm. Can I show you another one? Mm. Can I show you one more? Mm. Then the soldiers, I'm in verse 27, verse 27, and it says, then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole garrison around him. Y'all, that, that, I believe that's about 200 guards. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And when they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And once again, they 
spit on him. Mm. And they took the reed and struck him on the head. Mm. And when they mocked him, they took the robe off of him and put his own clothes back on and led him away to be mm. crucified. Mm. My God. Mm. My God. He endured great suffering from the beginning mm. in the garden mm. to his death on the cross. Mm. Y'all, that is about 88 verses of scripture mm -hmm. in approximately 15 hours. Mm. He endured mm. just for me. Just for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did it just for me. Mm -hmm. People may make fun of you for your Christian faith. Mm -hmm. You may get teased, mm -hmm. persecuted. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ain't got to do all of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Harassed. And guess what? Sometimes it comes from the people you love and from those who are close to you. Don't be one of those people that the Lord sits back and watches and says, Oh, you teasing your sister because she loved the Lord. You teasing your brother because she loved the Lord. Your aunt loved Jesus and she acted a certain way. Count it not strange. Mm. Take courage. Mm. Jesus in these verses alone mm -hmm. shows us because mm -hmm. he was mocked like no other. Mm -hmm. Yet he stood and did not say a word. Mm -hmm. Now let's be honest. Some, some, sometimes we, 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 we want to say some stuff. We want to say some stuff back. You know, uh, um, some days, everybody, we ain't all the way saved some days. Come on now. But thanks be to God, we got to remember that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. That's the benefit of being in Christ Jesus. Glory to your name. But he stood there and he did not say a word. He wants us to know taunting may hurt our feelings, but we should never let it change our faith. Hallelujah. The greatest acts of love were recorded the last week of Jesus' life. I admonish you this week, read through it all. Read through them 88 verses. How much does he loved me. We only need to look at the cross. He stretched out his hands and said, I love you this much. He gave his life to give us new life. They hung him high and stretched him wide. He hung his head. Yeah. For me, he died. That's love. That's love. There is no greater love. There is no greater love. Get on the piano 
and play this song <laughs> so that I can sing it in the right key. Uh -huh. I think of how much he loves us. And she taught us a song some years ago. And some songs, they don't, you don't need a whole lot of words to get across a simple message. See what I mean? That's it. Wow. That's it. That ain't nothing but the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. us. Don't just say you love me. Don't just say you love him. Don't just say you love her. It's about how you show it. Talk is cheap, as they say. But if you show it, you ain't got to say a word. The kids knew that their parents loved them by the things that they did. And so we know that Jesus loved us by the things that he did because he gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you and me. Hallelujah. 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 He loves me. He loves me. Say it. He loves me. He loves me. And that's good news. If you're listening on the phone or Facebook Live or however you hear this message, he loves you and me because he gave his life that whosoever believeth on him would not perish and have everlasting life. Hallelujah. All you have to do is believe. Confess your sins. So I invite you to pray this prayer with me. Dear God, I realize I'm a sinner and could never reach heaven by my own good deeds. So right now I place my faith in Jesus Christ as God's son who rose from the dead to give me eternal life. Please forgive me for my sins and help me to live for you. Thank you for accepting me and giving me eternal life. 
If you prayed that prayer with me, we welcome you to the family of God. Hallelujah. Oh, how he loves you and me. He Bless the Lord for the word of God. Amen. Come on. I, I, I know we got chicken and vittles and things to cook and we got other things we want to do. But can we just bless God for the music ministry, for the garment of praise in this house. Amen. Can we bless the Lord for the ability, amen, to praise him in spite of, in spite of. And can we bless the Lord for the messenger? For the messenger, amen. The woman of God who availed herself to the spirit of God, amen. And, and, and can we bless the Lord for our minister of music? And how the Holy Ghost uses her every time. And I'm a hasten Lord, but... I would be remiss if I did not recognize our dear sister Lorraine Tears that had pressed her way in Deacon, uh, Deacon and Sister Glover. Amen. Sister Tears, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, y'all done messed me up today, so let me move it along. Um, I'm making these announcements on behalf of Deacon Shea Taylor. Amen. Um, the first thing, he would like to meet with the ministers on the side okay. with uh, Mother Holloman. Amen. And then also, he, we apologize, he wanted to meet with you first, but he realized that there are people that don't have access to email. Mm -hmm. So even though he would ask Reverend Gillespie to send an email out with this announcement I'm getting ready to share, he wanted to take into account the people that don't have access to email, amen, amen, all right? Amen. So even though things, in a nutshell, even though we find ourselves in a different space mm -hmm. and different circumstances, and due to timing, um, you know, the logistics, we don't want to just slap something together, mm -hmm. there is still an opportunity to recognize and acknowledge the work that our Lord and Savior did on Good Friday, what we call Good Friday. Amen, amen. So this coming Friday, from one hour, can you pray with me, minister? Amen. <laughs> for one hour, <laughs> we are going to have what we're calling a service of thanksgiving, testimony, and prayer amen. to acknowledge how what Jesus did on the cross how it is blessing us even now. Amen. And we're asking everybody to call in. Amen. It'll be over the phone. Amen. Amen. No, it won't be the seven last words, but we can still share what the Lord has Amen. done for us. Amen. 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 And if it run over, it run over. But he's saying seven to eight. Amen. And we'll be lifting up prayers of thanksgiving mm -hmm. and sharing testimonies. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, mm -hmm. of what the mm -hmm. impact mm -hmm. Calvary has had on our life. And, and, and whatever else the Lord, you know, leads yes. you to testify yes. and pray about. Amen. Amen. 
And then finally, um, we still don't really have an update with Sister Ivano, except that the family is, is thanking us for honoring mm -hmm. the request mm -hmm. Amen. to not call. Amen. 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 And they still are in need of prayer. Amen. And as soon as um, Deacon Taylor, you know, um, there's two, you know, pe people that are in contact with the family. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they give Deacon Taylor instructions, mm -hmm. then, you know, he'll let the leadership know. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. All right. Well, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, see, you got me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you fall. I know because you know I <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Let us stand. Let us stand. Because I'm happy glad about that thing. He loves me. He loves me. You know what I was I was thinking? Kirk Franklin got I love Kirk Franklin. He got a lot of songs. Yeah, he does. And I was, I was thinking about the one of the latest ones, Love Theory. Mm -hmm. And because I know he loves me, yeah. and I think about the, the, the last few words that he sung. I don't want to love nobody but yeah. you. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody, love nobody but you. Yeah, Come on. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody, love nobody but you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, we thank you so much for your great, 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 great love for us. We thank you for the sacrifice that you gave willingly of yourself to die the death that we may live you, this life. Yes. We love you, Lord, and I pray, Lord God, that all under the sound of my voice, mm -hmm. that as we remember what you did for us throughout this week, that when we come back for Resurrection Sunday, it'll be a special kind of praise, Lord hey. God, to acknowledge your great, great work mm -hmm. on Calvary's mm -hmm. cross. We love you. We thank you. May the peace mm -hmm. of our Lord and Savior mm -hmm. rest upon us, mm -hmm. lead us, and guide us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen, and we all sing. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're having service, Lord willing, according to the weather, we're going to be outside. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you, Grace St. Paul. He is blessing, Blessing, you know, I knew it was coming. Thank you. I knew it was coming. It was a song if it wasn't that. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.